Good morning, beautiful people. In today's video, I show you how I make coffee with my new AeroPress viewer recommendation. But first, we gotta clean up the beds. Bed number one and bed number two. Okay, with the beds put together, what we're gonna do is get the coffee going. Okay, the first thing we wanna do is give a shout out to channel viewers, Chris and Cassandra, um, and many of you have pressured me over the years to up my coffee game. Chris and Cassandra came through because I wanted a simple way to make good coffee without a bunch of falderol and equipment. So what I have done is, um, this is in a Folgers um, container, but this is ground coffee, Dunkin' Donuts, love Dunkin' Donuts. I have my hot water tea kettle, I have my, the base, I plug it in right here, and then um, I just simply put this here and I turn it on. So that's step one, is get the hot water going. Uh, step number two is to prepare the coffee, and I'm using a half of a paper towel, and this is the beauty of the system, is that it has really kind of like two components. Um, well, three, I guess. Um, one is the is this filter, and it's one filter per serving. Um, and this fits right in the bottom of the second component, which is this little piece here. So I put this in like that. See that? And then this screws on the bottom of the portion that contains the coffee. So I'm going to put this, the ground coffee in the bottom and then the apparatus sits on the coffee cup like that. Let me show you that. And what I found is I'm putting the, um, the handle in first. Instead of trying to put that thing in, um, it fits a lot easier. One small bag of ground coffee fills this perfectly. And again, because I don't have a lot of um, you know, storage, it's really important to um, maximize every bit of, bit of space. So I put this in like that. Fits perfectly, right? So now we have one scoop of coffee in there. Uh, you can see that. Kind of shake to um, level it out. And now we just wait for the coffee for a minute. You can hear that cooking, right? So I'm kind of curious, what kind of coffee regimen do you have in the morning? I drink coffee throughout the day. I'm probably going to make four or five coffees throughout the day, two or three pretty quick in the morning. Um, and um, I just drink it throughout the day using the same process. What's really been distinctively different about this for me is that the aroma of brewed coffee is real. It's apparent and it lingers in the van and even just opening up the cupboard smelling real ground coffee is just part of the really lovely experience. Okay, with the water hot enough, I don't like it super boiling. Um, so I'm gonna pour in to the level where it says four and just let it drip. So you see that level four, the fourth bubble on top there, right? So it just takes a minute or so for that to drip through. And then I hit it again to uh, level number three where it's at currently and so that second addition of water is where I use the press and this is sturdy plastic it has this like silicone um, plunger wedge thing you can see the shape there right so it's a tight fit but um, and that's what allows for the press on the second um, filling of the water 
You know, the directions that came with it gave a little different ways to do this. I found that this works out really well for me, and it gives me what I want, which is a big cup of freshly pressed coffee. It really works really, really well. Okay, so this is now down to about a one and a half level. You can see that. So now I'm going to uh, fill it to the third, the three bubble here, like that. And now I'm going to employ my press, and you kind of stick it in, and you give it a gentle but firm press. And there's a point where it gives a little resistance, and the directions say to back off, which I've just done. And now I just, again, apply firm pressure and listen. Yeah, so you get that very satisfying hiss, and the steam comes out as it presses that final amount through the, through the filter. Now what I do next is... This goes right into the trash. So the trash is right below your feet there. And so apologies for this. So I'm going to actually unscrew this. And then you see the coffee there, right? So then I just plus the, press the plunger to eject the coffee puck, if you will. And then I use my paper towel here to wipe the plunger so that it's clean for the next go around. Like that, and I fold my napkin over so that it kind of has a clean piece for the next go around. Got a few grounds there. Put those back in there like that. And now I'm ready for the next go around with my with my napkin. So again, it's really, really simple. Let me get my cream out here. Which by the way, my fridge holds a half a gallon of half and half. You guys can see this, right? Mm, so beautiful. And just like that, in under a couple, three minutes, certainly less than five, I have freshly pressed, superior tasting coffee in the morning. What do you think of this little bit of a regimen? Uh, again, I want to give, give a big hats off to all the viewers who continue to press me to do things better, differently. That's what this is about, and specifically to Chris and Cassandra. And you can help me out by, if you learned anything today, kind of enjoyed this morning routine coffee setup, give this video a thumb up. Let's me know you liked it. Let's YouTube know you liked it, which they then share out to other people, which then they might like to learn about this uh, Van Life Easy Coffee program. Comment below. Again, what is your coffee morning routine, your caffeine routine <laughs> during the day? and subscribe to the channel. We're doing a lot of content and doing a lot of work uh, help you become a better RVer, uh, whether you're still researching, so no time, part-time, or full-time like me in my Winnebago Travato. Have been now full-time in this rig since February 2019. That's two years uh, of full-time in this van, 21-foot camper van. Uh, so please subscribe to the channel if any of this adventures to you. Uh, and second thing is, this whole setup here is available on my Amazon store. So yes, if you go to my website, Go Small, Live Large, uh, you can pick this up. Uh, we will, uh, through the Amazon affiliate link, make a few, do a few dollars, wouldn't that be nice? A few cents off of this, uh, but go right to the store there. This is what it looks like. You can click here. Not only do I have this there on the store, but I also have my Hamilton Beach tea kettle, which is now two years and a half old. One of my earliest purchases, still running like a champ. You can add this to your uh, uh, collection of must-have gadgets in a van. Again, really, really simple. Just go to the store there, and I would appreciate your support through that as well. So with that, we'll call it a wrap so I can drink my coffee. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Journey on.